Hello everyone. Today I will show how to make this sidebar menu or sticky vertical menu in WordPress using Elementor, without any extra plugins or any code. It will be completely responsive for mobile devices, as I will be making a separate header for mobile only. In the first half of the video I will show it using the Elementor Flexbox model, and in the second half I will show it using Elementor's default section layout. So if you are using the default model then you can skip to the second half of the video. Let's get started. As you can see we are only using Elementor. Now click on Templates and add a new template, select Single Page and give it a name. Click on the settings icon on the left bot and select the page layout to Elementor Canvas, then click on preview settings and select page in the apply and preview. Select two columns layout and make it full width, set minimum height to 100 VH, then go to advance and remove default padding. Now click on the left column and give it a width of 12%, and for second column give it 88%. Set a background color for the first column. Now add a logo to the first column, select your logo image and style it accordingly. Add some padding in the column, now add your navigation menu, and style it accordingly. Set the breakpoint to mobile as we will be showing the sidebar menu on the tablet devices as well. Add social media links or any other content which you want to show at the bottom of the header and style it according. Click on column layout and set the content to space between. Now add the post content widget to the second call. Click on the first column again and go to advance and then motion effects and set the sticky to top. And then go the layout and set the minimum height of the column to be 100 VH. Select the first column and hide this column for mobile only.
Now let's make a different header for mobile screens only. Select two columns layout and hide this section for desktop and tablet devices. Now give width to both columns, 60% to left column and 40% to the right column. Add a logo in the left column and navigation menu in the right column and then style it accordingly. Let's publish the template and add a condition to set it for all pages. Now let's add a new page and give it a name and set the template to default template. Then publish the page and click on Edit with Elementor. Here you can design your page as you want, and for this tutorial I will add a pre-built template from library. So, that's it. This is how you can make a sticky sidebar menu using Elementor only. Now in the second half of the video I will make the same template using Elementor's default layout. Let's start by adding a template and select single page and give it a name. Click on the settings icon on the left bot and select the page layout to Elementor Canvas. Then click on preview settings and select page and then apply and preview. Add a new section with two columns. Make it full width and set column gap to no gap. Set the height to 100 bh and column position to stretch. Now give a width of 12% to first column and give it a background color of your choice. Then add an inner section to first column and remove its first column. Add 
Add logo, navigation menu and social media icons or any other widget to the first column and style it as required. Then click on the column of intersection and set vertical align to space between and then click on the intersection. And set its height to fit to screen. After that click on the advanced tab of intersection and click on motion effects and set the sticky to top. Now add the post content widget to the right side column. Let's make a different header for mobile only. So add a new two columns section and add logo in the left column and the navigation menu in the right column. And hide this section for both desktop and tablet device. Also hide the first column of desktop and tablet section for mobile only and style the mobile header as necessary. Finally let's publish the template and add a condition to set it for all pages. Now let's add a new page and give it a name and set the template to default template. Then publish the page and click on edit with Elementor. Here you can design your page as you want, and for this tutorial I will add a pre-built template from library. So, that's it. This is how you can make a sticky sidebar menu using Elementor without any extra plug nor code. If this video helps you in any way then please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. Thanks for watching.